In this video, I want to look at fault code E464, which is one of the most complex fault codes you get on these systems. 464 means the unit has been working too hard, so we need to check a few things that might start the unit overheating. The first one, and most importantly, is our blue tank sensor. If you look here, you can see the blue tank sensor in the cylinder. A few things you've got to look for. It must be above the immersion heater, which you can see here. Secondly, it must be pushed right inside the cylinder. You can see this one here is just about long enough, about 100 millimeters long, and it should also have heat paste put on here to make sure it makes good conduction with the cylinder. If it doesn't make good conduction, the cylinder will be very hot and the very hot water will go through the unit and cause 464. If all this is correct, the next thing we need to do on all of these systems which have a secondary circuit, so in this case you can see we have a plate heat exchanger here with the flow from the heat pump coming in at the bottom here and the return to the heat pump coming here. If the secondary side, which you can see here with the pump, is not running, then what will happen is the water will go through the plate at the bottom here, straight back, returning here, and will overheat the unit. So we need to look at what's going on on the secondary side, maybe even checking these filters are clear. And the last thing we need to look at is at the outdoor unit, which we'll go and see now. On the outdoor unit, if we take off the lid, we need to look very carefully at the inverter board, which is the big one at the back. Please be very careful with this, it's very high voltage. What we're looking for, quite simply, is LEDs flashing. So if I look inside, you can see a green LED at the back, a red one constantly lit, and the green one flashing. This tells me that this PCB is okay and is working fine. If the LED sequence is anything different from this, there is your problem. The inverter is faulty, which is causing the unit to work very hard. You need to give us a call and we'll sort you out a new inverter PCB.